everyone! So today I am going to be talking about learning the Finnish language and in particular different kinds of free resources that I would personally use were I to start learning Finnish either as a complete beginner or someone who only has a very limited knowledge of the Finnish language. I've gone through some language learning apps, some of the ones that I have used myself for different languages didn't have a Finnish language option so I did have to look for other options that did include Finnish and I found a couple that I would probably personally use if I were to study Finnish so I'll just share that with you right now. So the first one is actually an app I have used for French before it's called Memrise and it's basically if you like the method of studying via flashcards this is something I would use it's kind of like a vocabulary builder. I've used this quite extensively before for like French and Swedish and stuff. So for example here, if you want to say find another course, it gives you, well here are the most common languages people learn, but they have pretty much every single language. So if we click finish, we can see there is quite a bit of different courses. You can do courses that are more general like beginner's finish, basic finish, or 3000 most common finish words, or you can get more specific and just do colors. Um, survival finish, there's the calendar, body parts, you can really choose for your liking what kind of things you want to do. Okay, so say for example we want to try basic finish. We can start learning and here it gives you the audio. Most of them have audio, not all of them do, but you can like press on that and hear how a Finnish person would say the word. Like so, uksi, you can say it afterwards. There's usually a meme here that helps you like give memorization tips or like help you understand the word and you can scroll through and they're like basically helpful memorization tips and you learn the words in like groups of five. Basically you just go over the words a couple times until it, the seed has been planted and grows into a flower and after the flower you're supposed to know, know it and you can always every day there's like a certain reviewing thing and you review certain words and over time you're supposed to remember the words. So yeah, for example here you can see if I tilt this up a bit, you're supposed to select which one it is and we know it's the last one, oopsie, which uh, <laughs> happened to not be on the screen. Go, go, go. Okay, and then here's one where you have to type in what it is. So it said it's one, so you to just type in oopsie. So yeah, there's different techniques that they try and help you remember the word. I actually downloaded a lot of different apps where they were supposed to have like games for learning Finnish or like Finnish learning apps and a lot of them were really really boring and very grammar based and I found this one to be the most fun to use personally. They have the different categories that you can like, again this is more vocabulary building I guess, it's not so much sentence building or whatever, but they basically have different categories of words you can use. It's not so extensive but they have the basics here, like for example if you want to learn the colors, you can click the color icon. And there's a um, few different kinds of games or memorization techniques. You can just do the basic study list. Whoa, that was a bit funky. While going in, you can hear the audio, you see the picture, and it says the word here, or writes the word in Finnish. So yeah, basically there's different kinds of like games you can play. You can play memory games, word games. You can use flashcards if that's your style of learning. There's quizzes, there's review. Like, you can really just play around and see what happens. I mean, this app does tend to be a bit crashy, it does tend to crash on me at times, which is pretty annoying, but it was also the most, in my opinion, one of the most fun apps. Maybe it works better on a phone instead of the tablet, but yeah. But yeah, I think um, another really important point is to be immersed in the language, like that really does help, and I know if you are not in Finland, that is not exactly possible. So I think another good way is this language exchange because I think it's important to be able to like get feedback from native speakers and be able to talk and communicate, interact with other people that speak Finnish as a native language. And I think a really good method of doing this is by language exchange. And there's actually an app that is catered towards um, language exchange that I have used and it's actually really simple and easy. It's called Hello Talk, and I'll just show you quickly. 
Okay, so finally I will talk a little bit about HelloTalk, which is the language exchange method I was talking about earlier. So I guess you could kind of compare it to WhatsApp, but like a language learning version. So basically when you're creating your profile, let me find mine first. Um, it, you can set your native language, which I set for as English, and the language you want to learn, which I set for Finnish. You can, there's like a bar that you can set how good you are in it. So example, it goes to basic all the way to native speaker. So my Finnish bars are quite high. And then you can like write a little blurb about yourself and then you are ready to go. So yeah, the good thing about this app is that it is free. So basically after you create your profile, the idea is for you to search for language partners that you can exchange your language with. And for me, that would be a Finnish native speaker who is wanting to learn English. So I can teach them English while they teach me Finnish, for example. So how you do that is um, you can search yourself for language partners. So here are all the Finnish native speakers who are trying to learn English and you can just tap on them and contact them, add them as a partner, message them. Um, you might yourself get language partner requests that you can yourself chat to. Um, I can, I guess, show you an example. So example, if it's, if you say, they're trying to say, I have a cat and then they write mulla on kissa, but they added one s so it's like i have a competition so and so now it says i have a competition even though you know for a fact they're talking about a pet cat then you can just click on it and you can correct it for them so you can write double s done send and then it comes as a corrected version so i think that's really cool you can get like corrections from native speakers so yeah for example if you want to say good morning and you have no idea how to say it, you can actually here type it in English and have it translated. So, oops, I was writing in Finnish. Good morning. And then you can translate it. Huomenta. And they're like, okay, so then you can take that, send that directly. So yeah, I think it's a pretty cool app. I mean, sometimes things can tend to get a little one-sided, but there are settings that you can set to make sure that all of the conversation doesn't only flow in one language because you can for example set that it's five minutes in one language five minutes in the other language you can set it to like 500 characters and then it switches automatically to the other language um also if you're worried about like creepos <laughs> contacting you you can um input from your setting you can have like for example i can only have females then i can change the age range to whoa my finger's a bit too fat for this let's try again there we go. You can put it to the age range a little lower so it's like more your aged people. You could even hide yourself from the search and then you could, I guess, only contact people and people can't contact you. So there's really a whole lot of different options that you can kind of play around with and see. So yeah, if you are looking for native speakers to kind of chat with, this is, I think is a really good option for that because there is just so many options you can do and um, well, everyone that I've met so far has been really friendly and helpful, so yeah, this is something I would definitely recommend. So basically, there was just a sprinkling of a few different ideas that could help you at least begin your studies of the Finnish language. Now, I'm not sure if these apps are supported by Android. Um, any Android users, let me know um, if these apps work for you. Sydney says hi, and I hope you all have a great day, and I guess that just about concludes this video, so till next time. different options that do include finish. Oops.